but like I think one of the mistakes I've made um, related to caffeine is uh, Celsius holding. Oh and, shit! Why are you doing this to us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think someone po- I don't know if it's accurate or not, but someone posted on Twitter that like over the last five years that's been the best performing stock, like of of all stocks of all publicly traded stocks. Right. Um, and so anyway, that that's been a pretty painful one. That I bought again, not a big position, but I was buying and I wasn't aggressive. And then it went up from like, I think it was like three or four bucks a share to like 20. And I sold. And like, even that small position, if I would have had it today, would have been. Well, man, that was a year though. Celsius was tough, Sam, because it was just a dilution machine, you know, back in the day. I didn't see it coming. I mean, I knew I, I, I liked the product actually. The product I thought was pretty good because, you know, it would give them away free all the time. And uh, I liked it better than Monster or, um, you know, Red Bull's Red Bull, right? But uh, I thought it was pretty good. But this, the stock always looked like crap, you know, you had dilution and they just couldn't make any money. And all of a sudden it just worked out, um, which I thought, yeah. yeah and I, I missed it too. I, mean, I, didn't even, I didn't even own it. And that was after I owned Monster Beverage for a double at one point, a piece of that multi dagger move. Now, you know, Monster was ironically out of chapter 11, becomes the best performing stock of the century. Celsius, yeah, crappy little beverage company, becomes the best stock in the last five years, right? It's, it's, it's crazy. No, I, so sometimes, you know, I'll, they, I'll, I'll, it's how it works out. I'll never forget so my, my business partner, uh, Ken Majumadar, um, who we, who we co managed this fund together. Um, he, he was like at B Riley. He was like, "Oh, I, said, I tried it. It tastes really good. I was like we could look into this." He's like, "I think this could be the next monster." And I, <laughs> like, I looked into, I looked into it. And I was like, "Yeah, you know, like we're just losing so much money, like valuation wise. Like I can't, we can't get comfortable with it. Like we bought like a little position to kind of track, and then you know, but but they were, I mean, cost them big. They started getting very good distribution, right? Like right after that time, they got Walmart, um, and they also had an interesting business model. Like they weren't they weren't attacking the the convenience stores like every other energy drink does or every other new beverage does. They were like, Hey, we're going to go to the grocery store, offer our product, you know, in four packs and six packs and get people to really like it. Right. And into it. And then we'll, it'll force the convenience stores to like have to carry us. Right. Um, And they also did like this whole health. I think they were like in all berries boot camps, stuff like that. And like the gym I go to, they're at, they're at, they sell it at our gym and they've, they've had it for a while as, as well too. Um, so I think they like went really the fitness route, which I think you know, obviously worked for them. And now we got Pepsi, I think Pepsi invested in them as well. And then they added, they got Pepsi's distribution, which I think Pepsi invested with them at like, I think it was like 80 or $90 a share. Mm-hmm. They put 500 million in and then, um, you know, now the stock's like pushing 200. <laughs> 